Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create the perfect vocal track in BandLab. So if you're new to recording your own songs, you've probably got caught up in the classic mistake of recording your vocals once and then spending ages trying to get it to mix into your song. So today I'm going to explain to you something that professional recording studios do, and that's called comping. And basically what comping is, is you record your vocals more than once, and then you select the best parts of each recording and put those together and create your perfect vocal track from that comped version. So what I've got here is I've got a, a music track and below that I've got three tracks of the vocals, exactly the same vocals, just sung three different times. And the idea here is I'm going to select the best parts of each track. So for this demonstration, I've basically just recorded the first verse of my song. And the first thing I want to do is split each one of the sentences in that verse into separate sentences so I can reference between the different tracks. So I'm going to move the track position marker so it's between the first sentence and the second sentence. And I'm going to tap on track one, or my first vocal track rather. And then I'm going to click on split. And then I'm going to do the same with the two other vocal tracks. They're both greyed out at the moment because I've got them muted. And I'm just going to basically go through and just do that between all of these sentences. And the point you'll notice here is that when I do, when I split one track, I keep the track position marker in exactly the same place when I split the other tracks. So the split is in exactly the same place on all three tracks. Okay, so now that I've split them up into their separate chunks, I can go back to the first sentence What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the mix the settings icon and then I'm going to click on the S on the vocal track one. So I can just listen to the vocals on track one. And I'm just going to play the first section. When the day is dragging. And I think that's a bit breathy. So I'm just now going to go back into the mixer settings again. I'm going to take S off of the first track. I'm going to take the second track out of mute. And then I'm going to click on S on the second track. So that's the only one that's going to play now. And click on the mixer settings icon again. And I'm going to play that first sentence on track two. When the day is dragging then I'm going to click on the mixer settings icon again click on the S to remove the solo from vocal track 2 unmute track 3 vocal track 3 and click on the S to solo vocal track 3 and play that When the day is dragging. 
and that's got a kind of nice combination of a little bit of breathiness and the clarity so the first one was a bit breathy the second one was a little bit too clean and the third one has got a bit of a combination of the both so I'm gonna get stick with the first sentence from track three so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on the plus icon and add a new vocal track and click on the X to come back to the main screen and then I'm going to line this up with the beginning the first section which isn't always easy to do in band lab then I'm going to click on the sentence one in track three which is the one I want and I'm going to click on copy and I'm going to click on the new track I just added in the blank area of it and then I'm going to click on the paste icon so now that I've got that section is the one that I want and now I'm going to go back into the mixer settings again and go back to solo the vocal track one and do the second sentence and you've had enough now this one is a perfect example of why comping is a good idea because that second sentence has got a plosive on it which basically is um, some air from my mouth has hit the microphone and created this plosive sound and I could spend time trying to remove that from the recording and this is kind of the kind of thing that people who are new to vocal recording make the mistake of is spending loads of time trying to get rid of that plosive where all I need to do now is just actually select that second sentence from one of the other two tracks And you've had enough. And you've had enough. Okay, so once again, I'm going to go with the version on track three. So I'm going to tap on that. And then I'm going to tap on the copy icon line it up with track four the fourth track the well the comping track I will call it the vocal comping track which is the last one the one I added click on that and click on paste so now that I've got those two from that combination and then basically you just go through the rest and do the other sentences. Okay, so now I've copied the sentences from the different tracks down to my comping track so I've got all eight sentences selecting the best one for each section so now I can mute first three tracks first three vocal tracks and listen to my comped version
And now that I'm happy with that comp vocal track, there's several things I could do now. I could either just leave the other three tracks muted or I can go into the mixer settings and delete them. And now I'm left with my music and one vocal track, which is the combination from the other tracks. So now I get my perfect vocal track. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.